step into the world of a hilarious and unpredictable TV series that captivated audiences back in 1977. This show brings together two families, the Tates and the Campbells, each dealing with their own share of love, drama, and comedy. Led by strong matriarchs and facing various challenges, these families navigate through life with plenty of surprises along the way. One family, led by a troubled but wealthy patriarch, struggles with their own internal conflicts. Meanwhile, the other family deals with dysfunction under the watchful eye of their matriarch. As these families interact, they create moments that are both funny and heartwarming, sometimes even touching. The series broke new ground with its storytelling, fearlessly tackling controversial topics with humor and wit. From secrets and scandals to unexpected twists, the show keeps viewers hooked with its mix of laughter and gasps. Amidst all the chaos, there are also moments of genuine emotion and connection. So, if you're up for a roller coaster ride of emotions, dive into this classic series. Get ready for laughs, shocks, and maybe even a tear or two. Share your favorite characters and memories below. We'd love to hear from you. In 1977, television audiences were captivated by a groundbreaking series that brought laughter, drama, and controversy into their homes. This show, set in its time, stood out for its bold storytelling and clever humor. It followed the lives of two families, showcasing their complex relationships and amusing misadventures. But what made this series significant was its fearless exploration of taboo topics. From issues like cheating to same-sex relationships, it fearlessly tackled subjects that were often avoided on TV. This approach reflected the changing attitudes of the era, sparking discussions and pushing against societal norms. During a time of cultural change and political unrest, this series offered viewers an escape from reality. It provided a humorous yet insightful look at the absurdities of everyday life, resonating with audiences across the nation. In so, Benson's last name was never mentioned. However, it was later revealed to be Dubois when he got his spin-off series. Caroline McWilliams gained recognition for her role in Guiding Light before joining So. She then portrayed a different character in the spin-off series Benson. Catherine Hellman received numerous award nominations for her roles in Soap and other series. She won two Golden Globe Awards for her performances. And so, Robert Guillaume made history as the first black performer to snag an Emmy for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. He clinched the award twice, once on the show, and again on its spin-off Benson. This feat puts him in the league of Jackie Gleason and Ed Asner, who also nabbed Emmys for the same role on different series. Gleason scored with Ralph Cramden on both The Jackie Gleason Show and The Honeymooners, while Asner triumphed as Lou Grant in The Mary Tyler Moore Show and its spinoff, Lou Grant. Meanwhile, Richard Mulligan's journey to Emmy glory hit a snag. Despite winning two Emmys for Outstanding Actor in a Comedy Series, he had to wait until 1989 to accept one for Empty Nest. In 1980, during the 32nd Annual Primetime Emmy Awards, he missed out due to his participation in the Screen Actors Guild strike. It was a curious turn of events, considering he had clinched the award for his role in Soap. Early in production, a quirky hiccup emerged with Bob, Chuck's ventriloquist dummy. Sound recording issues arose because Jay Johnson's performance as Bob was so convincing that the sound man ended up aiming the microphone at the dummy whenever it had a line. Inga Swenson portrayed the villainous Swede with a thick Germanic accent named Ingrid Svensson, who was Corrine's biological mother, proving to be a troublesome presence for the Tates early on. Interestingly, Swenson's character shared a similar name to her real-life name. She, alongside Robert Guillaume, was the only actor from the series to secure a role in the spin-off Benson. On Benson, Inga played Gretchen Kraus, still Swedish, but no longer villainous, eventually befriending Benson. Caroline McWilliams also appeared in both series. Richard Mulligan and Dinah Manoff collaborated once again on another Susan Harris-created sitcom, Empty Nest. The show initially operated under the working title soap during pre-production, while producers searched for a better name. However, no alternative was decided upon, so soap became its formal title during production. John Bennett Perry was initially considered for the role of Peter Campbell. Richard Mulligan is best known for his roles as Burt Campbell on Soap and as Dr. Harry Weston on several other TV shows. Randy Heller portrayed Alice in season two, making her the first recurring lesbian character on American television. In the realm of television history, there's a captivating tale of an unexpected rise to fame. A character initially meant for a brief appearance became a beloved fixture, leaving a lasting mark on viewers. This journey reflects the dynamic relationship between creators and their audience, showcasing the unpredictable nature of television storytelling. 
It all began with a character introduced in episode 1 to 1 of a popular sitcom. Originally intended as a short-term guest, this character, along with their ventriloquist dummy, captured the hearts of viewers with their unique charm and comedic flair. The overwhelmingly positive response from the audience led to a delightful revision of their storyline, turning them into integral parts of the series. The chemistry between the character and their dummy added an extra layer of entertainment to the show, contributing significantly to its success. This unforeseen turn of events highlights the adaptability of creators in response to audience preferences, transforming what was supposed to be a fleeting presence into a beloved aspect of the series. Looking back, this journey exemplifies the ever-evolving nature of creativity in the entertainment industry. It underscores the profound connection between performers and their audience, demonstrating how even the smallest characters can leave a lasting impact on the collective memory of viewers. In the end, the story of this character and their dummy serves as a reminder of the fascinating evolution of characters and storylines in television. Their journey from brief guests to beloved fixtures is a testament to the collaborative nature of television production and the enduring power of audience engagement. Transitioning from one successful TV show to another can be a challenging feat for any actor. After the loss of one of their cast members, the show faced uncertainty about its future. However, the remaining actors continue to shine, with one in particular standing out for appearing in every single episode of the series. Their ability to adapt to new roles and storylines was evident, showcasing their talent and leaving a lasting impression on audiences. From the initial show to its spin-off, the journey was a testament to the resilience and skill of its stars, leaving a memorable impact on television history. In a world where television stars often shift from one show to another, connections between actors can be fascinating to explore. Take, for example, the case of a popular TV show where the actors' paths intersected in unexpected ways. One actor, who later became known for a different role, shared the screen with another who would eventually join him on another memorable series. This dynamic showcases the versatility and talent of the actors involved, enriching the behind-the-scenes dynamics of television at the time. It's intriguing to see how these relationships and transitions shape the entertainment industry, offering viewers a glimpse into the interconnected nature of television. Long ago, there was a TV show that got people talking. The creator even popped up as one of the characters. A bunch of familiar faces joined the cast too. The show stood out for its funny conversations, big group of characters, and how it told stories in new ways. People liked watching these quirky characters dealing with crazy situations. It became super popular, even shaping other shows like it. Even though it's old, people still love it today. It was a TV game changer, mixing jokes, making fun of stuff, and talking about real life stuff in a way that clicked with everyone. This show's still a hit, showing how good it was back then, and still is now. Father Timothy Flotsky in Soap is a nod to a character from a Lenny Bruce routine. Before Soap aired, two pilots were shot with different actresses playing Mary Campbell. The comedy clicked when Catherine Damon took on the role. Despite rumors, the show likely ended due to low ratings, not pressure from religious groups. In the realm of television and film, collaborations often lead to memorable performances and enduring friendships. One such partnership involved a talented ensemble, including actors like Richard Mulligan, B. Arthur, Lee Grant, and Dinah Manoff. They shared the screen in a beloved TV series and a notable film. Despite their acclaim, they faced challenges, including a strike that affected their award recognition. Mulligan's heartfelt tribute to a departed colleague during his Emmy win resonated deeply with audiences. These stories of camaraderie and dedication remind us of the lasting impact of collaboration in the entertainment industry. In the bustling world of 80s television, one producer stood out for her unique sitcoms about sisters. These shows, while initially controversial, eventually found their place in the hearts of viewers. The journey wasn't easy though. Despite facing boycotts and advertiser hesitance, the sitcoms managed to break through, thanks in part to the talent of the actors involved. Starring veteran actresses in the roles of mother-in-laws, the dynamic portrayed in these shows would later influence other hit sitcoms. The connection between these projects, facilitated by the collaboration of talented performers, underscores the interconnectedness of the television industry. Ultimately, these sitcoms paved the way for future shows to explore unconventional themes and narratives, leaving a lasting impression on the television landscape. The work of the producer continues to be felt not only through these shows, but also through the projects and collaborations that follow. Crafting engaging stories and bringing diverse characters to life, the producer left an indelible mark on television history.
Their influence remains evident in the shows we enjoy today, showcasing the enduring impact of their contributions. During the production of Soap, unexpected challenges arose due to the live studio audience, notably altering the intended cliffhanger ending of the first season. For instance, when Jessica Tate faced conviction for murder in episode 125, the audience's loud booing prompted a last-minute decision to add a Rod Roddy voiceover, casting doubt on her guilt, and shifting focus to potential suspects. Additionally, Robert Yurich juggled roles, appearing as Peter Campbell on Soap, while concurrently portraying Paul Thurston on the short-lived sitcom Tabitha. Rue McClanahan, known for her role in Maude, and later as a Golden Girl, was considered for the part of Mary Campbell on Soap. These behind-the-scenes tidbits shed light on the dynamic production of the series, showcasing the challenges and decisions that shaped its narrative. A groundbreaking aspect of the series was its inclusion of an openly gay character as a regular cast member. He brought a refreshing authenticity to the screen, challenging norms, and paving the way for greater representation in television. Billy Crystal, despite playing Ted Wass' younger brother on the show, is actually four years older than him. This unexpected age dynamic added an interesting layer to their on-screen relationship, contributing to the show's depth and complexity. Catherine Damon, who had a significant Broadway career before joining the cast of the series, saw it as her breakthrough into television, with limited prior screen experience. Her transition from stage to screen was seamless, capturing the hearts of audiences with her nuanced portrayal of her character. The diverse backgrounds and talents of the cast members truly enriched the show, making it a cultural phenomenon that continues to be celebrated to this day.